Hello there. Putting together a quick video on diaphragmatic breathing or deep belly breathing. I'm going to show two variations uh, and uh, you know, how you can put them into an exercise to do every hour or when you wake or when you just need to calm down or feel a burst of energy. First of all, diaphragm is an umbrella shaped muscle that goes from here, pulls down here, and it creates a vacuum that pulls in air from the outside. So babies breathe diaphragmatically. Uh, when you're relaxed, sometimes when we sleep, we breathe diaphragmatically. During the day, we can get tense or we want to show off our washboard abs uh, or not look so pudgy. We might tighten our abs up, which can constrict diaphragmatic breathing, which means you're trying to breathe a lot more from your chest, which isn't as uh, inducing of the enough volume for you know, energy throughout the day. So the first one we're going to do is called Scholar's Breath for Deep Belly Breathing. It's a soothing, calming, uh, slightly energizing activity. What you do is you cross your palms over your belly, like so, and you're just going to concentrate on lowering your diaphragm and essentially extending your stomach out like a balloon. You want to keep your shoulders relaxed and your chest relaxed, and you're just going to focus on from the, from the belly breathing. Uh, we're going to do one exercise now. You can do it along with me. You want to feel any pressure, any uh, tenseness. You want to be relaxed as you can and breathe through the nose. Uh, we're going to do 10 deep belly breaths. Cross the hands over the stomach and begin. You can exhale through the mouth. Let your hands come out. It's four. Breathe in, fill the balloon. Exhale, let the balloon collapse. Six. Eight. And ten. Let it all out. Resume normal breathing. You might feel a little lightheaded. Uh, if at any point doing that you feel you're going to pass out, just stop. Take a seat. Uh, if you feel lightheaded, you can actually do that while sitting. Uh, recommend setting a timer for every 50 minutes from every work you're doing to take a break. Condition yourself to take a break, step away from what you're doing, take a step up, take your deep breaths. Now if you want to charge up, if you want to energize, instead of getting a shot of espresso or a cup of coffee or tea, you could do you know, essentially what's called a warrior's breath, where you're inhaling through the diaphragm, but instead of just focusing on that belly breath, you can breathe in through your nose and your mouth at the same time. You're actually going to use both your diaphragm and your chest to increase the volume of air and you're going to do a little more rapidly. So this is more of an advanced technique. You want to, if you want to work your way up through the belly breathing and the scholar's breath, the more gentle version, do that. But I'm going to walk through the warrior's breath with this right now. And the first one is going to look like this. We're going to breathe in. Notice that I'm inhaling. I'm actually using the muscles of my chest and the muscles of my back and interior to exhale, expand as well. Out the mouth. So we're going to do 10 of these as well. Let's begin. A little faster. Five. That's eight on the ninth and tenth. Slow it down. Stretch it out, feel a little body, body buzzing, a little lightheaded. Now you're energized up. That's air coming in, that's chi, that's prana, that's energy, that's flowing through your body, that's being sent from your lungs, through your heart being pumped by the blood through by your heart, to your organs, to your extremities, so that you can regain focus and send your power and your energy onto whatever task you want to accomplish next. So there you go, some deep belly breathing, some warrior's breath. Hope that served you. Thank you.